Hello everybody, Ranger Mark Mello here with the Blackstone River Valley National Historical Park and I'm really excited to welcome you here to our second Ranger Chat. Today we're going to talk about a lesser known figure in the Blackstone River Valley, a gentleman by the name of Zachariah Allen. Allen was many things. He was a lawyer, a scientist, an inventor, a textile manufacturer, and a civil leader, and a writer. But among the many things that he did in his life, perhaps one of the most interesting examples is the small uh, industrial mill village that he created at Georgiaville. So for today, we're going to join my colleague and supervisor, Ranger Kevin Kleiberg, uh, to learn a little bit more about Zachariah Allen. One of the Valley's most creative mill village designers was Zachariah Allen. To Allen, a mill village was not merely an investment, but an opportunity to experiment with as many theories, including those of community development. Allen believed in the development of small mill villages, sprinkled among the glens and meadows of solitary watercourses. In these hamlets, the mill owners would be duty-bound to promote the social welfare of their workers, who in turn would be happily dedicated to their tasks and to the company's growing profits. Zachariah Allen put his idea to a practical test at Georgiaville, where he added neoclassical flares to his expanded mill and new boarding houses and shade trees were planted along the streets. He built a park for his workers along the mill pond, and even today, Georgiaville Pond is a popular recreation spot. The Georgiaville mill ceased textile manufacturing in the 1930s, but the core of Georgiaville maintains many of the elements that Zachariah Allen built. One massive change is that the Georgiaville mill has now been converted into condominiums, an innovation that Zachariah Allen surely would have appreciated. Among the many achievements that Allen had, Georgiaville just being one of them. A really quick cool story too that we'll throw in here at the end. Take a look at this. Yeah, that's an original spindle from a Slater Mill that Zach Allen got his hands on and donated to the Rhode Island Historical Society. So not only uh, was he doing a lot of cool things when it came to mill villages, but he was also donating historical artifacts, which I'm a fan of him. Anybody who donates historical artifacts, I'm a fan of. And so that covers it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us here today for our second edition of a Ranger Chat. Uh, we hope that you enjoyed this. Let us know in the comments below if there's anything in particular that you're interested in learning about, and we can definitely make a video about that in the upcoming weeks. But with that being said, stay safe, stay healthy, everybody, and we hope to see you along the Blackstone really soon.